My name is Rick Witt. I'm the Washington Telecom uh, Council for Google. Generally speaking, Google's why Google is here, that's the question people ask. What was Google doing here at EIPF uh, addressing state legislators and state regulators and mayors? Um, and the primary reason we're here is we, we first want to uh, kind of introduce, introduce ourselves to people for the first time in, in the community. Um, but the larger lesson from our perspective is we think that the Internet has been an, an amazing success story. Um, the innovation, the, the competition, the entrepreneurship, all the consumer choice that's out there um, really makes it a unique platform in, US, in American history and pretty much, pretty much global history. And so we'd like to see that that ethos of openness um, and competition and consumer choice be extended into the wireless realm. And so you've seen actually the calendar year of 2007 has been one uh, of real change in the wireless industry, mostly for the better from our perspective, largely outside the realm of government regulation, which I think is an important lesson here. Um, early on uh, in the year, uh, Skype filed a petition at the FCC asking the FCC to step in and impose certain regulations that would require the uh, provider, the carriers, to unlock their handsets and to allow applications to be downloaded to those handsets without being hindered. Um, Google came in to that proceeding and said, "We we believe a wait and see attitude is the best way to go here. We agree that the openness regime is an important one, is a crucial one, um, but on the other hand, we don't see at that point the need for government to step in and regulate. Let's take a wait and see approach and see what happens in the market." And as things have developed uh, over the past course of the past year, and particularly the last month or two, you've seen the Open Handset Alliance uh, be announced, which includes 34 companies, including T-Mobile and Sprint, two of the larger wireless carriers in the U.S. You've seen Verizon announce that they, in fact, embrace an open access regime. AT&T came out just last week indicating they've always supported open access, and they've always thought that that was the right way to go. Um, so you've seen outside of the purview of the regulatory regime, you've seen market forces changing, uh, again, in our, in our minds, mostly for the better, where carriers are understanding and realizing that the Internet does provide a business model that works, and it's one that consumers should have the right to have access to. And so that's our, our, our primary message here is to say, uh, you know, the wireless industry has done some good things, but we think it could do some better things, and we're glad to be part of this kind of minor revolution going on, this move towards more open platforms and giving consumers more choices uh, for applications and for handsets.